In this video, I'm going to talk about Quick Accent within the Power Toys tool. Now, Quick Accent is a way to type accented characters in your keyboard. Now, the shortcut is basically either space bar or left or right, and you can choose wide array of character set. You can configure toolbar position and you can view the Unicode name and code. Now, I'm going to give you a, a basic introduction about what an accented character is, and then we will go ahead and start executing this in Power Toys 2. Okay. So, let me uh, go through one article over here. It says accents and accented characters. Now, accent marks, sometimes referred to as accent and accented characters, are important element in both written and spoken language. Okay. Uh, while their use in English is largely confined to proper names or borrowed words of foreign origin, there are some languages like European languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German, and Portuguese, which make use of this accented character. Now, this I have uh, opened from fonts.com. Okay, so this uh, web page is from fonts.com. You can have a read into this. Now, there are some of accented character which you see over here, which is one is like in resume, it says acute. So this character is an acute character, okay? Then you have a grave, so which is here, that's a, a propose, which is a grave uh, accent. Then you have circumflex, tilt, umlaut deresis, and sedila. Okay, so these are some of the uh, accent characters uh, which is part of this languages which I mentioned over here like the Spanish, French, Italian, German and Portuguese and many other foreign languages. So in our normal day keyboard, if I uh, say press A, B, C, D, this is how we can type in right in A, B, C, D. Now A, B, C, D. What if I want to put an accented character? Okay, so let's see the shortcut. There's a shortcut over here. It says, uh, let me go here, accented, quick accent. And here it says, uh, quick accent is an alternative way to type accented characters and activation keys left, right, or space. Now, what does that mean is you need to press this key. Okay, so if I'm typing A, then I need to hold a uh, space bar. So see, now I'm holding space bar and see what is coming on the top. On the top, you see a toolbar which will allow you to select. You know, I'm continuously pressing A and space in my keyboard. Okay, I have not left that key as of now. Okay, now here again, if I press, I will see that these are some of the characters which I can use. So the moment I leave A and space bar, this character gets printed. Okay, now again, let me do an another one for B. So I press B and then space bar. Okay, and then if you see, this is beta. Okay, so if I want beta, I can see here, put it over here. Then again, if I type B and then space bar, and then I get a Bitcoin uh, symbol, right? So let me put this, and this is as a part of B. And if I put C and then space bar, I can see a lot of things coming up. Even I see a copyright as well. So if you want a copyright, you can do this. Let me put E now and see a lot of E characters. So I can see Euro as well. Okay. So I can put Euro symbol. So uh, this is how you can configure uh, and use various accented characters in Power Toys tool. Now let's see what all settings they have. Now this is an activation key. We can even choose a character set from various languages. So Catalan, Croatian, Czech Republic, uh, Estonian, French, German, Hebrew, Hungarian, Maori, Norwegian, uh, Romanian, Slovakian, Turkish, Welsh, Swedish, Serbian. So those all characters that we can use within this shortcut. Now the toolbar which you saw was on the top center. Now you can put it either on the bottom center or on the center or anywhere on the screen. Let me put it on the bottom center and let me again give it a try. Now this time I pick G and if you see here in the bottom, the toolbar has appeared in the bottom. So this is how you get this characters. Now uh, you can set your input delay 
uh, you can also say start selection from the left or uh, from the right and then there are other settings which you can turn on or off uh, also like in many of the settings you might see something called as excluded apps now what does this mean is if you put the execution file name of that app like say notepad.exe then this will not work in notepad.exe so let's go into notepad now here if i let me if I zoom this a bit and if i put a okay now i pressed a and then now uh, i get this character right now what if i just put say notepad.exe okay and now see what happens if i press a and then space nothing happens so that means when you are in the context of a notepad notepad is an excluded app and you can't use that uh, uh, accent characters within notepad as you have configured over here but the moment you remove it and then come out of this application and then now i type i should be able to uh, get all those accented character right so if you see the toolbar it gives you a description as well it shows you that it's hebrew letter shin with shin dot uh, and this is like the unicode equivalent for that particular character so that's it folks this is all about accented characters if you want to use that for writing or for uh, writing some literature then definitely this is the right choice uh, as you need not go into the character map or go refer to some other sources uh, it's everything you can produce using your local keyboard thanks for watching